Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. In this tutorial you write your first program which will simply display hello world to the console. Now I have a command prompt shortcut here on my desktop and you can create one by right clicking and then selecting new and then shortcut. Type in CMD, click next and finish. Then you'll have your command prompt shortcut. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now the first thing we're going to do with the uh, command prompt here is type in Java C. Java C is the um, Java command line tool for the Java compiler. I'm going to press enter and you should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. That's a good thing. That means you have it configured properly. Now if you get an error message then you're going to want to watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit and ensure that you have it installed and configured properly. Otherwise none of these tutorials will work. I'm going to type in CLS which is clear the screen and just to clean that up a little bit there we'll type in CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory and backslash will make it go to the root. I'm going to type in md, which is the command for make directory, and then java. And then we'll do cd, change directory, to the java folder. Now I'm going to make another directory called um, hello world. And we'll change to the hello world folder. And now I'm going to type in notepad hello world.java. Now hello world.java is going to be the name of our source code file and it is case sensitive. Notice the uppercase H, the uppercase W, there's no spaces in the file name and it must end in the .java extension. This is also known as our compilation unit. I'm going to go ahead and enter on that and then Notepad will create that file for us. So the first thing we're going to do is type in class and then the name of the class which should match the file name here. And you can see it does, only minus the .java extension. You don't want that on there. Now after the class name, we're going to have an, open, an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace. And then we are going to put in what's called our main method entry point. And that's basically where the program starts execution. And it has some interesting syntax. Public static void main, then an opening parenthesis string args a couple of brackets and then we have our opening brace and our closing brace so I'm gonna come back up here to the opening brace closing brace of the class right this is the opening brace and closing brace for the class and then this opening closing brace is for this main method entry point Okay. And none of this has to make any sense to you. I assure you it will as we continue on through the tutorials. This is just kind of an explanation on how you can get something to actually work. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do one simple line. I'm going to do an exclamation mark there. Okay, now this is what's called a statement. So when we run our program, it's going to look for this main method entry point, and it's going to run everything inside of this main method body, which is what's called a code block. Everything inside of this main method, this opening curly brace and closing curly brace for the main here. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll come back to our command prompt. I'm gonna type in CLS to clear the screen off, and then I'm gonna type in that Java C command that we did originally. Only now I'm going to type in notepad, or uh, not notepad, um, hello world.java. Now that's the name of our source code file. So what we're doing is we're telling Java C we want to go ahead and compile this file and let's go ahead and press enter. Now what will happen is it'll look like it does nothing, right? It just returns you back to the command prompt. It doesn't say like compilation successful or anything like that. If I type in dir, which is short for directory, which will give us a directory listing of the files, you can see we have two files here, right? Hello world.java, which is our file that we created here, and hello world.class. Hello world.class is the compiled version of this hello world.java source code file. It contains what's called the Java bytecode. 
if I use the DOS type command, you'll see it just contains a whole bunch of uh, stuff that looks like garbage dust, but that's the compiled stuff there. So I'm going to go ahead and type in CLS again. And now I'm going to type in another Java command line tool called Java. And that will basically run the Java runtime, right? Which is also known as the uh, Java virtual machine. And then we're going to pass it the name of the class that we want to invoke. And invoke is just another fancy term for run, right? So we want to run the hello world class. And we're not going to put the dot class extension on there. That's, that's not good. We just want to give it the name because the Java, this Java tool here will go out and find the name of this class in one of the dot class files. So we press enter on that. Hello world is simply displayed down here to our console. Exactly like what we expected. Okay. Now when I, when I hit enter on this, what it did is it came out here and it found the hello world class. And then it found this, what's called the main method entry point. And then it executed everything inside of the closing, opening, closing curly base for the main, right? Which was just this one single line. Now, if I wanted another line to go in there, all right, print out to the console, I can just type in other stuff like that, right? We'll do hello, everybody. Save this. Back to our DOS prompt here, command prompt. We'll clear our screen. Type in Java C hello world.java. Java C hello world.java will recompile the file that we just saved. I'm going to type in Java, the name of the class that we want to run. Right? So it's going to come out and it's going to find the hello world in one of the one of the files there. And then when we press enter, it'll go ahead and execute everything inside of this main method, which is basically printing out um, this, what's called string literal, and this string literal to the console. And this print line right here, that basically prints this to the console and then um, calls a line feed. All right, let's go ahead and close out of this. Close out of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.